So our lovely, lovely young ladies are on a bit of a flow and they're getting their stores happening. So I thought, well, we were cleaning up the shed and we found some stickies and we thought we'll give them an extra super so we won't have to disturb them so much when we take their honey for you. Anyway, these are a few um, stickies that I've stored over the, over the winter. I put a little bit of um, stuff to keep the moths out, had them sealed up. But I'm just hoping that you viewers can keep a secret because my lovely wife, she's on the hunt for this jolly beeswax stuff. I tell you what, she's always asking me, have you got any more beeswax? Have you got any more blooming polybus? So she's got this wicked ass products going on. She's got this lip balm that I'm using. She's making a body moisturizer thing that the, the girls at work are loving and a couple of ladies in town are selling for us, which is really awesome. Um, what else is she doing? She's making some soap, which is kind of cool. Natural, all natural beeswax soap. And that's really groovy. So it doesn't dry your skin out. Anyway, so like I said, you've got to keep a secret because she's on the hunt for this stuff. And, and so don't tell her that I'm using her wax to give us some more honey. So anyway, it's a trade off as usual with this beekeeping gig. So yeah, why not kick over to the website, the Bush Bee Man, or the Bush Bee Company, and check out my wife's products. I mean, the really cool thing that I like about it, I mean, I'm not, I don't normally put lip stuff on my lips, because you know how you usually use the lip glosses, not gloss, but you'll use the, a bit of Vaseline or whatever, and your lips look all like you've got lip gloss on. But this stuff just soaks in and it's brilliant. It stops your cracked lips and stops them hurting, and you wouldn't even know it's there. And it even smells pretty. So anyway, here we go. We've got the, some of these, Little, these I just stored the frames in these eight frame boxes that I had and this is what I normally cart the honey home in and so that's why they've ended up in here but of course you know when you're doing this these are eight frame boxes and I've got a ten frame box here so I had to bring a ten frame box to put the eights in <sighs> so as I said before I am gonna get organized I think and I'm just gonna have one standard size which is what most of the books told me but you know, when you buy buying second-hand stuff, you end up with all sorts of random ass shit. But, so if you're starting out, just pick a size and stick with it. That will save you a whole lot of aggravation. And then again, you might be like me, it just depends how fat your checkbook is as to what you can do. Anyway, so we're going to put some frames in my 10 frame box. And I figure we're just going to have some fun and leave the blooming stickies in the plastic supers. Because they can sit up the top there and put them on the ladies. And then... We forgot to bring the jolly um, plastic frames that we were supposed to try out, but anyway, that's for another episode, so don't despair, people that have sent me products to test. They are coming. Oh, here we go, here we go. So these little ladies are looking for some more room, so they've got blooming stuff going everywhere. Hold on, everybody out there in internet land, I'll just go and get my hive tool. Have a look at that, chicky babes. That's what you call a full box of bees, isn't it? A full box of bees, I'm trying to say, not full. Otherwise it'd be the catbird joke again, wouldn't it? Mm. <laughs> anyway, I'm just gonna make doubly sure that I haven't completely screwed this shit up, but there's just a little bit of, there's still a bit of room, but we're gonna pop these on top. I don't like, I don't know if I like the nail idea that they have on these boxes. Like they have a nail, they try and stop it all sliding. Which is kind of cool, but kind of frustrating when you don't get it right. <laughs> like this one here that's bent. <laughs> I don't know, it's just another idea that someone's come up with. Yes, I'm sorry gals, I know, no banging. Anyway, that's all good. So we've got an extra so we've got the three deeps. So we got, hopefully, we'll have a whole lot of honey up here for you to nibble on shortly. Yeah, I'm relaxed today. Cool. They're a bit more relaxed than the ones that bit you the other day, lad. <laughs> Beautiful. Now we've got some other, we just got some little eight frames that can go on here for fun. They don't like it when you play with their house. Oh, talking about something else. <laughs> about playing with their house. Because you know how, I've decided, how I'm having a crack at having a double brood box, so there's, without the queen excluder, um, I was reading some other statistics about it and of course just because you have a lot of bees doesn't necessarily mean they're going to make more honey because of course all of the bees in the box still have to eat so if you are going to go down this road just keep a close eye on the nectar source so when things mellow off 
it's probably a good idea to keep them down in the bottom box for a little bit to chill them out a bit but you know what it's all open to discussion a bit like the Q&A last night there was plenty of discussion going on <laughs> that was awesome if you missed it I think you can check it out on I don't know whatever it's called is it you is it on the YouTube yeah you can check it out on YouTube and catch up on all the questions that you missed Well that's got some stickies on top of the lady so we hopefully we can get some bit of beautiful fresh honey in there but I thought just to wrap up this episode I'll show you what happens if you haven't got frames in your box because I caught this bloody swarm in a box and I didn't get back in time to um, put some the last two frames in there because I'd stolen them to do something else anyway we'll just go and check it out and see what happens without a frame anyway so this little swarm box was sitting around and managed to catch a swarm and not catch my eye and then the other day I was just playing around and I was going to put some new, the last couple of frames in that I knew that I'd stolen. Anyway, I just thought it might be interesting to show you viewers what happens if you don't have frames in your bee box. So, let's see if we can show you without wrecking it too much. They've been very busy this little swarm. Oh wow. So you can see they've just done their own thing. <laughs> I've got enough frames in here. So then they've made, ah, don't get crazy. They're a little bit grumpy. <laughs> and then they've just made their own honeycomb to fit. See how bloody clever is that? <laughs> we'll just pop them back in here. Hopefully. Yeah. Anyway, I'll straighten that mess out when I put a super on these ladies, which isn't very far away by the look of things in there. But anyway, things to avoid. That's why you put frames in your boxes. Don't make a bait box without the frames, because next thing you know, you've forgotten the bloody thing. So tip 101 from the Bush Bee Man, remember your frames. <laughs>